Welcome to today's video devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. We're very glad to have you here and watching these. We pray that it might be a blessing to you. We're celebrating Pentecost today. It's the last day we'll celebrate it. And our psalm for the week of Pentecost is Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my pleas for mercy. In your faithfulness answer me. In your righteousness Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued my soul, he has crushed my life to the ground, he has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me, my heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all that you have done, I ponder the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit falls. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go. For to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring my soul out of trouble. And in your steadfast love, you will cut off my enemies and you will destroy all the advers adversaries of my soul, for I am your servant. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. That's the truth. It's a difficult confession of faith, but it's the truth. No one is righteous. No, not one. You have sinned in thought, word, and deed by what you have done, by what you have left undone. You have failed in all your vocations as a parent, as an employee, as a boss, as a Christian. You failed in all sorts of ways. You haven't loved your neighbors as yourself. In fact, sometimes you've been downright angry with them. Maybe you've even done things that have hurt them in their physical body or in their needs. You failed to care for them when they needed it. Maybe you've damaged someone's property, burned it down. Maybe... You have used your words to belittle, to hate. You've sinned against your neighbor. And you've also sinned against God, haven't you? You don't spend the time in God's word that you ought to. You're not in church as often as you ought to be. You don't read your Bible. Sure, you have time to watch something on TV, but not as much time in God's Word as you should. You've sinned. No one living is righteous before God. No one has kept His Word perfectly. No one is completely pure and clean. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So how do we approach God? We beg for mercy. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give, ursy, give ear to my pleas for mercy. In your faithfulness, answer me. In your righteousness, enter not into judgment with me. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for I have fled to you for refuge. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. And God does. He sends Jesus 
into this world that is far from perfect. He sends Jesus to take care of the sin of sinners. How? By bleeding, by dying. In their place, for their guilt, for their wrong. Dear Christian, all of your sin has died with Jesus. It's placed squarely on his shoulders. And all the sin that is done against you is died with Jesus. Squarely placed on his shoulders. Your sin is forgiven because of the righteousness of Christ. Live as if that's true. In this crazy day and age, live in the forgiveness of Christ. That means know that the other people you meet, no matter who they are, whether you know them or not, they too have been forgiven by your Lord and deserve his same respect and care that he gives to you. And so in your steadfast love, O Lord, your righteousness will bring my soul out of trouble. You will provide. In the name of Jesus, amen. We pray now the litany. Lutheran Service Book, page 288, page 288. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. God the Father in heaven, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy. mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare, Spare us, us, good Lord. Lord. Be gracious to us. Help, Help us, good, good Lord, from all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death, good, good Lord, Lord, deliver Lord. us by the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help, help us, us, good Lord, Lord, in all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment, help us, good, good Lord. Lord. We poor sinners implore you to, to hear, hear us, O Lord, Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, 
to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage, and to have mercy on us all, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to tur turn their hearts, to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth, and graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives, that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, the consolation of the sorrowful and the strength of the weak, may the prayers of those who in any tribulation or distress cry to you graciously come before you, so that in every situation they may recognize and receive your gracious help, comfort, and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Ever-present Lord, you have promised never to leave us nor forsake us, but to abide with us to the end of time. Grant that those who live alone may not be lonely, but find comfort both from your promises and fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors all their days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, give us grace to trust you during this time of illness and distress. In mercy, put an end to the epidemic that afflicts us. Grant relief to those who suffer and comfort all who mourn. Sustain all medical personnel in their labors and cause your people to ever serve you in righteousness and holiness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. We pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.